welcome to this video and here I am going to solve this example of calculating compass error. So the first step is to collect the data and for that you have to note down the date and time. Suppose the date was 7th April 2024. By the way, you should note down the format and the time. By the way, date and time should be taken UTC, that is Universal Coordinated Time or GMT. Technically, there is hardly any difference. Uh, the UTC is atomic time and GMT is the Greenwich Mean Time. So, the GMT is 13 hour, 56 minute, 13 second and you need to take this from GPS. Now, you need to go to the gyrus time. Suppose you are observing celestial body. So, you need to go to the gyro, repeater, and you observe the bearing of uh, sun, which is 259 degree gyro. Please note down how it is represented. And then, we need to take down the position from GPS, that is latitude, 36 degree, 44.7 minute north and longitude 0, 3, 4 degree, 38.6 minute east. Now, you need to note down the gyro heading also and the gyro heading here is 190 degree gyro and the standard compass which is the magnetic compass at the steering stand which is 186 degree C. Also, you need to note down the variation. The variation is taken from nautical chart or edges. So, for sake of simplicity, you can write this UTC as 07th day because this is 7th April, 13 hour, 56 minute and 13 second and the month is April. You can write the April at the end or at the start as well. Now, let's focus on working. So, first of all, we need to find GHA, that is Greenwich Hour Angle, for 7th day and 13 hour, and that we need to look at the almanac, and we need to find. Same way, we need to see the declination, and we also need to observe whether the declination is increasing or decreasing. So, here, for the date, and this uh, 13 hour, we see that GHA of the sun under the column of sun is 14 degree 30.5 and the declination is north 7 degree and it is increasing is 8.2. By the way, you need to note down this D correction also which is 0 0.9 and if you see carefully, this is 8.2, this is 9.1 and 10. So, the declination is increasing. So, we need to add this correction. So, let us come back to this GHA. We have noted down, declination we have noted down and then we need to find the increment table. So, let me show you the increment table which is for 56 minute and 13 second. So, we come to the increment table of 56 minute and 13 second. We need to choose sun. So, here is 14 degree 03.3. That is the increment. And also, we need to go to the V and D correction table. So, for 0 0.9, the value is 0 0.8. So, now we need to find the GHA. And when we use the calculator, we might get in degrees, minute and second, 28 degree, 33 minute, 48 second. And the declination is 7 degree, 0, 9 minute. By the way, the north you write at the end. That is the usual way of expressing. Now, uh, instead of writing the GHA like this, you can write in degrees, minutes and uh, one place of decimal. So, 33.8, that is the correct way of writing. That will be much uh, easier for you. So, we had the longitude which was 034 degree 
38.6 longitude is east so gha is least obviously the lha is more so lha is 63 degree 12.4 minute now we need to find angle p well for finding the angle p you need to realize suppose this is your zero degree this is your 90 degree this is 180 degree and this is 270 degree that is how the lha is going to move so lha is 63 degree that means it is somewhere here so lha is less than 180 degree then p is equal to lha by the way this direction is east this direction is west and here the time will be am and here the time will be pm so the body is in westerly direction now we need to find the factor a which is a is equal to 10 latitude upon 10 p the value of 10 latitude latitude is 36 degree 44.7 let's just scroll here latitude is 36 degree 44.7 and the angle p we have already obtained this is 63 degree 12.4 because p is equal to lha so we are getting this well we can round off to three places that is good enough because nori's table uh, is having only two places so yeah, maximum we can use three places there is no point using six seven uh, places of decimal now the naming part the a is named opposite to latitude except where I mean, our angle is between 90 and 270 so here the our angle is uh, 63 degree so we need to name opposite to latitude and here the latitude is north so we name as south Similarly, we need to find B, which is 10 declination upon sine P, the value of 10 declination, declination we already obtained, 7 degrees 09 minute, and the value of P is 63 degree 12.4, so we get this 0.141N. Now, we need to find the value of C, and this is south, by the way, this is north, so we need to subtract. Uh, from south to north and the value we get 0 0.3236 and this is south why south because the s this a is greater than b then let's find out 10 azimuth 10 azimuth is 1 upon c into cos latitude the value of c we have obtained just now 0 0.236 and the cos latitude latitude is 36 degree 44.7 let's cross check again latitude is 36 degree 44.7 so we get this value well there is no need to write so much of digits simply a round off to one place so it is 79.3 degree now this azimuth has to be named so the first part this is as per c the second part we need to go here the lha is less than 180 degrees so body is in the westerly direction so we need to write west so now let's work out this is north south east and west the azimuth is south 79.3 west so it is the this is the angle we have obtained so what is the total azimuth this is the true azimuth so we need to add 180 180 degree plus 79.3 degree so we have obtained true azimuth or true bearing as 259.3 degree and if you remember the gyro bearing which we observed was 259 degree gyro so obviously if you see carefully the gyro is reading low so gyro error is 0 0.3 degree low now let's recall ship's heading the ship's heading was 190 degree gyro here let me just go up here the 
gyro heading was 190 degree gyro. So if the gyro heading is 190 degree, the true heading is going to be 190.3 degree true because the gyro is low, so obviously true is high. And the ship's compass heading, which we observed, that is the magnetic heading, 186 degree C. That is how we did not. So, this is compass least error east. So, the difference is 4.3 degree east. By the way, compass error is the algebraic sum of variation and deviation. The variation we obtain is 5.5 degree east plus deviation is equal to 4.3 degree east. So, algebraically, uh, we just bring it here on the right hand side. So, we get minus 1.2 degree east. Since this is minus 1.2, if we change it, it become 1.2, but the east will convert it to west. That is one way of doing it. All you have to do now, check this deviation table or the curve which is placed on the bridge and verify whether this deviation is in acceptable range.